Hello and welcome to the next video. This has been a bit of an awkward one. I'm at my dishwasher because it's knackered. It's a very small space, just in my kitchen, so I'm try I would try and adjust the camera for ages to see which is the best angle to sort it out, and I think this is the right one. Okay, right, we'll start off the dishwasher. Um, I think it will last for a day. It started beeping and beeping, and eventually I got it working again. Just this was the day before I go away and I was in a hurry, so 28 minutes, it, it was all honky doorway. So um, I used it when I came off holiday. It, it worked the first time around and then it just ended up playing up again. So I'll actually show you, this is the Indesit um, dishwasher, I don't know what the model number is. Um, I have got the, in fact, I've actually got all the paperwork up here. Just bear with me. It, it all fell apart anyway, so yeah, this is that. That's the following instructions. Can't read that. So I don't know. Can't find the others. Anyway, but um, yeah, I've had a few problems with this, so I'm a bit gutted. Um, I've got a new one coming. I'll show you what it's doing. Um, I had it on this morning, just giving it a play about. It worked. It worked this morning, but I did do an empty cycle just to give it a little bit of a test one. So then when I came to put some pots in it, it's there to do it again, so I was, I was furious. So I'm going to just give you this show now. It's all plugged in and that, so it's on, yeah. So I'll turn it on. Beep, beep. There we go. So obviously, let me go to the one through the program. We've got the Eco 50. Um, I think that's the intense stuff in pots and pans. Um, that's your... Yeah, average everyday use that's the mini and then that's like a wind um extra wind spawn not extra wind but a wind cycle um so i'll look so this is how it would usually come on so if i press this watch it come on now right it's all coming on it's coming on this is in fact i'll turn this off because it will um, cost me a lot in electric this just bear with me um Broke down push and go because that's let's um, just see this now. Well that's working now. That's working. As you can see. So, um, so obviously there's no detergent in, so that's probably why. So let me turn this off. Um, just let that dra drain out, and then um, I'll sort the next um, one out. I'll move that pin out of the way. Move that there, you don't want to see that. Um, yeah. It's not working, so. Well, let me open this little door. Just bear with me. I never know if there's child locks and dishwashers, you know, so I'm catching by the water and I come out everywhere. I don't think that's... So I'll definitely try and show you what it's been doing. Just bear with me. You're just going to turn it off a switch. So obviously, do you know what? I'll, I'll give this a go. Um, I'll put some um, 
just do what I usually do. Just do what I usually do and put some pots and pans in because that's. Well, there's some things in there. Okay. Um, Let me put these in for a test just to show you. And I'll get a um, cup as well, which is nice. Just get a cup just to see. I think it might be because. Don't tell me it's cocking up now. As soon as the video it said being good. Um, yeah, so do you know what I will I'll definitely try and show you. Um I don't know how to it has been playing up but it's been beep 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 beep. But it just seems to be weird now. Do you know what? What I do you usually do in the dishwasher? Um, I've only got a very small bin, so I always put this in the dishwasher. This bin, so I'll give this a go. Look at me, just like the bin smells, so you don't want to look at that. So I always put this bin lid in the dishwasher, just like that. I think it's going to get quite a bit in, you know. Um, let me just give it a go. Here we go. Oh, maybe not. We'll just give it a go and see what happens. Do you know what? Instead of pushing it, they aren't pushing go. Um, just, just do the wind, see what this does. It's working for me on camera. It, it just bear with me. It fell down a bit that camera then. There we go, that's better. Do you know what I will definitely show you? It's this is how it should work. It's on um, the wind spawn. We'll get there. So this, yeah, this, I'm, I'm going to get a new one, new room, um, I'm getting a Beko next. So, yeah, this there, it should work. As soon as I start videoing, it starts being good, and I don't like it when you do that, because I wanted to, to bring the content, but I will definitely try and show you in another video, hopefully. Well, not another video, but I'll try and merge this one into one, I think, if it, try and do it. Not for a long time. How it should work. I'll just let this sink to itself now. I will, in fact, I will definitely try and show you in this video what I'm doing now, even though it might be long. 
this is like I can show you how this is supposed to work. This is how it's supposed to work. I know that it's not as exciting as a washing machine, I can tell you that, but at least I'm talking to you to keep you entertained at the same time. Um, yeah. So yeah. Because I did fill all the, I filled it this morning with pots and pans because I did it on a test one and I'm doing it on another test one and it, it did it again, it was all beeping and beeping and beeping and all that whatnot. So I bet the always once I loaded it up to it the light, put it all back in the bloody sink. So I wasn't happy. I think it's just like you're just going to get very agitated if you're not going to trust it, do you know what I mean? By the way, I don't think I told you on this video, but this is my third dishwasher now I've gone through. I've only had this 13 bloody months, so yeah, and it was just out of its, um, what do you call it, guarantee, it's about, it keeps falling down my camera, it's about as me. Down here it says register for your 10 year get parts guarantee. Don't go for it. I did that once on a washing machine where you had to pay for your pound a month and then did, did bother call to fix it. And um, the guy who came to out to it, he didn't know what, he, he was an engineer of course, but you know what he did? When he were going, he forgot to put the parking so when the washer started to drain on my first cycle it all spewed out so yeah we weren't happy we did put in a complaint but um queries are coming on monday um to fit my new dishwasher so i'm going to do a video of that i know this is a bit different to a washing machine video but yeah let's take think we bring some content out to it If you did get an in sip one, I'd probably um, look into some research first before you buy it, look at the reviews, but obviously I've only had this 13 months, it's been good, but I'm pretty sure it should have lasted a lot longer, but to be honest, it was a cheap one as well, so, and um, appliances like washers, dryers, dishwashers are coming more and more non with repairable like back in the day you'd always get an engineer out to fix it i used to love having engineers out because i used to just talk about washing machines too <laughs> um, i have to say yeah when i was a kid and i my mum always used to say don't stand in the kitchen while he's trying to fix it <laughs> and i'm one of those who loves watching him fix the washing machine this this is only a 10 minute wash this this like Come on. My previous dishwasher before this was a Beckel box standard and the next one's slightly similar. But it's a bit like digital, but there's no like time indicator, so it's a bit digital. But we're going to find the exact same one as I had last time because it was, it was decent, that Beckel. Not more like Beckel. I'm just having to watch it doesn't work because it's, because my camera's outside, because it's the kitchen stores and all, so I'm having to burn. I only have a backyard, so no neighbours can see me what I'm doing. I have to say, um, uh, I would go, it's draining, it's coming to draining. I have to say, I usually go through more washers, usually, than dishwashers, but dishwashers are the pain of my life now. This is my third one now. I'm up to my second washer, second dry now. So, this, this is one in one out quite regular. 
I was always wearing washing machines there, but this one's been quite good, this candy that I've got. Yeah, it's probably about three years now for a candy. Love that. Three years. Just see what this does. I'm just going to get a towel um, to dry this stuff that comes out. If you have a small bin like this, put your bin within the dishwasher, it works. And then just dry it. There we go. That's beeped. Um, So, okay, let's see if this works now. Um, When I'm trying to create a video for you, it just goes, but it is faulty. Okay, uh, yeah, it were, it were beeping though, so. What I'll do is turn it off at the plug and then just see what it does for you. Because it is faulty. As soon as I try and create a bloody YouTube video, it doesn't do what I want it to. Well, there is a computer fault of some sort, so... All I'm gonna do is get agitated, you know, if it keeps playing up, so... I'll say this fail this is um, not gonna work this video but I'll definitely try and do another one. Another video when I know I can start playing up in that so yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I know it's not gone as planned as I thought because I really wanted to show you what this does but obviously it didn't want to play on this video for me. But I will definitely I'll, cap, I'll do another video and I'll catch it out. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I've actually just showed you around the um, dishwasher, but I am getting a Becca one, so I'll show you where my Becca when I get it on Monday. And I think you've got to do like the salt first, don't you? Do all the salt aid or something. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, welcome to the next video. Um, this is part two of the fault with the dishwasher. Um, it wouldn't let me, um, it was working fine on the last video, so I'm going to um, give it another whirl. Um, I've already loaded it up this time, there's quite a few bits in, so last time when I put bits in, it weren't acknowledging anything, so I just thought with stuff in it might do it again, so I'm just gonna. Test, put this to the test now. Come on, normal. So if I wanted to, there's already detergent in, so just put this on.
Damn it. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, something's wrong with it. I know it didn't do this earlier, but I think it's when you do load stuff up. So let me let me open this. Um, I've got two pot, two cups, one um saucepan, not saucepan, clay, um, four or five cutlers. So try again. What I have been doing is testing that, that push and go then. It's not acknowledging push and go, so, so turn it off. Start again. What I did do afterwards, um, did change, put another option on. So what I usually do, what is it? What wash do I usually, oh no. Um, I usually sometimes work. Well, obviously that's working. As you can see, it's working, it's draining out the water. There you go. So there must be some sort of fault with it because it, it is working now, but that's what it has been doing, you see. So, beep, 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 beep. So it must be some sort of fault with it. So it, it's always hit and miss, you see. So I'm getting a new one, so hopefully. Yeah, there is definitely a fault with this, so it's operating as usual. Um, I'm on the, um, this, will, this will take three hours, just for those. I know I've not done this, I know it's only a small load, but I just thought I'd put this to the test just to see, because I struggle at washing up, because I've um, got a bit of eczema on my hands recently. So, yeah, I struggle. And then I end up splashing all water all over the place. So, yeah. Let's see if this will water it now. You'll hear it. Looks all hunky dory though, doesn't it? <sighs> Bloody hell. It does look hunky dory. Bloody hell. It is hit and miss, you know. It is hit and miss. Also, that, that should wash us fine now. But I just don't really want to. I just need to just hit and miss. We'll just see how this goes now to the end of the wash. It takes about three hours, but obviously it's not like a washing machine, so it's a bit boring. Yeah, so this is an industry um, what dishwasher. Um, it's only lasted 13 months. I'm not happy with it. You've just got to take your chance, you see. You don't know what's going to happen, whether it's going to acknowledge or not. But that's why I put all my dishes in the sink, so because you can't trust it. But I'll just go with the floor and just see what happens. Well, the dish, I always use I always use this button, push and go, which is about seventy five minutes in total. It's a wash, um, right? It washes and dries, so that's a good cycle. Eco fifty um, wash. Um, isn't that? It takes about four hours for that. And I do check the smart meter. It doesn't use, it uses the same amount of energy as all the bloody other wash cycles. And I noticed that. The only difference is it's because they're a slide, but they slide on some the same companies. Because they put eco, it means it takes shorter to heat up the water, but it doesn't. So I'd say it's not very eco. That's, that's a bit dearer in electric, that intense, because it's, um, yeah, this, this is on intense um, because it's like a 70, 70 degree, I think it is. But I think I might stop this, you know. 
but I don't want to stop it because it might be boiling there. It's not like you can feel it, you see, like a washing machine. You know, you've got like your box standard 55 degree cut squares and that. It just turn your own tray a minute quick and then you wet cycle and salt it. Um, so, yeah. I'll be doing a vlog on Monday when I've got my new dishwasher so you can have a show see what it looks like. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.